Oh, sweet bro, this one's gonna be a good one. Get rid of that brown paper, eh? Oh, yeah. Why have they got such a big box cover here of bl blue or teal? Why don't they put the picture bigger? Anyway, open her up. <laughs> what the f So here is what you get. This is just the skin, not a kit. So no batteries, no charger. So you get the very hefty unit. You get a very crappy side handle. Before I go any further, this is the XAG12 7 inch cordless grinder. This is the North American version, the XAG12. In the Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand, Australia, um, and maybe Europe, I'm not sure, it is the DGA700. Now, there's a few differences on what you get between the different countries. In North America, you get a very shitty handle. It's just a plastic handle. PA6 handle, no glass fiber or anything, just a plastic handle, no vibration dampening, nothing. Will screw in either side, not on the top. If you're in New Zealand, if you buy the New Zealand or Australian version, you will get a nice rubberized handle, more like this one on this five inch grinder, and it has a bit more um, it's much nicer to hold and it has a bit of a vibration dampening effect in it. You get tool spanner, you get a grinding wheel, cutting disc. Now with the grinding wheel, on this sort of grinder you have the same system for putting on a depressed disc as that one is, a grinding disc, or a cutting wheel, you use the same nuts. On this puppy, because it's a bit bigger, you use, you have a depressed wheel here, a depressed disc to hold the, the depression on the grinding discs, and a nut. For the cutting discs, you have these much wider flange, and then you put the nut on top of that. That gives a bit more support on the disc here. Now, in the North American version, you also get, as well as this standard blade guard you also get this one with the spark deflector catchy thing and man is that the worst welding you've ever friggin seen look at that what a shitter it's just shocking now in New Zealand and Australia you won't get that but instead of not getting that you will get a case buy this in North America the basic unit does not come with a case New Zealand and Australia it does once again, the UK and um, Europe, I'm not quite sure, but it's probably more like the Southern Hemisphere version rather than the Northern Hemisphere version. So that's what you get with it. A couple of guards, if you're lucky. Crappy handle, some discs. Yeah, and that's about it. Let's now look at the grinder itself. So this is a 7-inch grinder, 180 millimeters. It has a paddle style switch, a little safety doohickey there, takes two batteries, so she's 36 volt, you little beauty, just going to adjust the light here, that's better, you've got some lights here, three little lights, now they're for overload protection of you know, if you're grinding way too hard and she locks up, it'll cut out, the light will come on. If you overheat it, the other light will come on. The light in the middle, I think, comes on. It's a torque light, so when it's under pressure, it'll ratchet down the speed and ramp up the torque. And to let you know that that's happening, that middle light will come on. Now, this has a removable mesh over the vent there, just like the little fella does. In the center here, see the um, she's quite it's a bit hard to see on camera, but it's a bit of movement there, a bit of vibration dampening built in there. Lock pin for changing the wheel, quick release guard, you can move it into whichever position you desire. 7800 RPM 
which is pretty high considering these little fellas that's only eight and a half so it's only 700 less rpm than this one but she's much grungier she feels like she goes for it when you turn it on that's for sure it's got this um protection here for the batteries this sort of cage thing which is sprung it's attached on this side but isn't attached at these two points so it can move really know why they need that but anyway so that way you can throw it around a bit more I guess and help save your batteries so let's try her out just managed to knock the chain off the bloody automatic door here because I had one of my work lights hanging on it oh well so now I'm gonna have to fix that before I can carry on with this but I'll just let you know fully loaded up here two batteries the handle a grinding wheel she's 6.1 kgs there's all sorts of different things ranging from 4.6 kgs upwards on the internet on how much this thing weighs but there you go 6.1 kgs in pounds that's so there we go right with the chain back on i've just got to remember to take that light down before i operate the door again okay let's fire up You can see it's got a good break on it there, four and a half seconds they rate it as. So it's test time. First up we're going to do some grinding, some steel, and then we'll do some steel cutting. Then we'll do some concrete cutting, and I'm not going to do sanding, but that's just to show you that you can put sanding pads on these as well. Um, but sanding's boring to watch and boring to do, so I'm going to show you these three for demos in the video. I'm liking the long wrench that it comes with. Here's the one off my previous 7 inch grinder, which as you can see is somewhat shorter, which pretty much guarantees that when you've got a wheel really well stuck on there and you try and get it off, you're guaranteed to take chunks out of your fingers. Whereas this, you can be far enough away from the disc that you're not going to slice yourself open. And just remember safety first make sure you've got your isjs on i've got the grinder loaded up with a six amp hour and a five amp hour battery both fully charged i'll i might see how we'll do a run test you know see how long it'll last grinding as long as i don't run out of surface to grind i've got my trusty rusty eye beam there which i use for lots of experiments um and yeah we'll just give it a go and i'll I'll indicate when I'm going to put a bit of pressure on it and see if I can get it to stall or, you know, overload, cut out protection, some sort of thing like that. We'll see if we can get them to trigger and the torque trigger. Yeah, enough torque. Get into it. Right, I've now got the cutting wheel on. I've got the spark deflecty guard thing on to try that out. Bit of a pain to put on because it doesn't have the, the quick release like this one does. You've got to put it on with a screwdriver. Um, six amp hour battery here, still showing four bars. So we'll just do all these tests on the one charge, see if the one charge can do all the tests rather than just grind it all down on one thing. So I'm gonna cut these Y posts now, these Waratahs. Just do a couple of cuts with that, see how it goes, see how it feels. So I can do it.
that stuff. So it handled that no problems, got plenty of power. We're down to, what do we got here? Three lights on the battery. So those first few cuts, I took it easy, that last one I put a bit more pressure on, you probably could hear the torque levels change there, the light came on, when I was doing the grinding, I, when I pushed down I could see the light come on, this centre one here goes green, let's go find some concrete to cut. might notice the guard is removed, had to be removed for me to get in and cut the way I wanted to. If you want to have a squinty about that in the comments, feel free, whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Um, God, look how grubby she is already. Let's see how much she's got in the tank. So we've used about half the battery life. Bit of grinding, bit of cutting, bit of concrete cutting, a little bit more than what you actually saw on the film because I will have no doubt cut a bit out because else it gets a bit boring um, yeah so I'm pretty happy with that 5 amp hour battery has pretty much had it now I've done what you saw on the video plus a little bit more on the grinding than was in the video a lot more on the concrete cutting uh, I also cut a couple of sheets of corrugated iron in half and cut some 5 mil steel now I had a bit of trouble getting one of the batteries off but I'll put that down to all the dust and shit that's gotten into that area while I was doing the concrete cutting. Now, that's not too bad, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, you wouldn't want to probably run it on 3 amp hour batteries when it lasts too long. Um, I could compare it to my old Ryobi 7 inch here, but it's probably no point. But on the pros and cons side of things, it's quite heavy, it's a lot heavier than, than this one. Um, so that's the biggest con, it's, it's very heavy. The batteries aren't going to last that long if you're doing stuff all day every day then you might as well get a corded one else you're going to have to have 100 batteries um, but for what i do one charge of batteries will probably do whatever the job is i need to use it for it's not the sort of thing i would use every day for long periods of time it's just a oh yeah i need that boof five minutes later you've done the job and all on the one charge so all good um, yeah overall I like it I won't be sending it back or anything I won't be selling it I will be getting rid of my corded Ryobi so I guess that means this one is good so there you have it now let's um, take this apart eh? be interesting to see what's on the inside Seeing as someone else hasn't done it, even though I've requested for them to do it, you know. So let's have a look, but that'll be on the next video. So subscribe, like, push the little bell thing next to subscription, make sure you do that. And then you'll, you'll get the notification when I pull this thing apart. I might do a few sneaky videos on the comment section-y thing that's on the main page-y thing. Anyway, see you on the next one, guys. I'm going to go chop some more stuff up. Pull this puppy to bits. We'll save the inside of that for the next video.